first one's always the shittiest so. thing. G'day, I'm uh, Kurt 2, graffiti writer from the Bronx. <laughs> no, actually I'm at Lush Socks. Yeah. I paint my name everywhere, I guess out of habit. Just been doing it for so long now. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Sorry, bro. Can't stop doing it. It's stupid. But the name's worth the most. The work it doesn't matter. It's the name. So it's good to have a good name. Copenhagen's basically the twin city of my hometown, Melbourne. And uh, there's fucking so many Aussies here, and I know so many Danish people, so it's a good spot to come out. Football. Soccer. I try to travel all the time. You know, if you're doing like red hot shit, it's better to just keep moving. I guess my view on the graffiti versus the internet thing and, you know, posting stuff online and being active online, it's crucial now. It's like, graffiti isn't a one city thing anymore. It's a, it's a worldwide thing. Instead of king one system or one city or one country, now you have to go all out. You have to go every city you can go to. Everyone's on their fucking phone anyway, even when they're in the city, so. Half the time they're not even looking at the graffiti, they're looking at the fucking graffiti on their phone more than the graffiti on the walls. Half the shit you do gets erased. If you put it on the internet, it's going to stay there forever. The similarities between branding, say a Nike logo and a Coke 2 fucking tag, you know? Their identity in a visual form.
I'm not trying to be a t like a full-time criminal or anything like a lot of people I know who have to steal for a living or sell drugs or do some other weird shit to get over. If I can just tag a piece of paper and some cunt's going to give me $50 for it, I'm going to take the $50. I mean, you can't just be a loser all your life. Yo, man, can I set a bomber? The people that are hating are just, you know, they're mad that I, like, I get it, and they don't. Because they're too busy smoking weed or, like, you know, jerking off while I'm out doing shit. But then the dudes that appreciate it and do work themselves, generally, they're about it. They understand what I'm doing. Most people do shit to impress girls or to get girls or like, you know, bands or whatever, like. They love the music and shit, but it gets pussy, so there's mad pussy. You just gotta go get it. It's hella groupies. Most of them are ugly though, just saying. It's like the rap video thing, you know. Every rap video has got the girls and shit, so I, I put the girls in with my work because, you know, it works. People like girls, I like girls. And dudes.